Bonnie, just forget it. Will nothing in this world stop your interference? Will nothing? Well, just a minute. Calm down, Mrs. Burns. What's the trouble? Well, don't tell me he isn't here. Don't tell me. Well, if you're talking about Marshall, no, he isn't. Well, where else would he be? You mean he's run away again? And this time, he didn't even take his clothes with him. The game! The Wildcats are playing their season's opener today. Of course. Mrs. Burns, he's perfectly all right. He's just gone to the park to play in the big game. Oh, do you think so? I'm certain of it. Oh, well, and there's still time to stop him. He, he just left a short while ago. Oh, Mrs. Burns, you don't mean you're really going to stop him from playing. If other mothers realized how seriously a child could be hurt out there, they wouldn't permit it either. But lots of mothers... I don't want to hear any more. Samantha, Mrs. Burns is right. This is our fault. I think we should help her. Mr. Stevens, I don't trust you. <laughs> you want to get to the park, don't you? Yes. Well, we'll take you. You don't drive, do you? Well, of course not. I didn't think so. <laughs> Come on, Sam, there's no time to lose. Now, you won't drive too fast, will you? No faster than the law allows. Fifteen miles per hour, right on the button. <laughs> much traffic, is there? It certainly isn't. But we sure are making good time. <laughs> Seems to me that light's been red for about 15 minutes. You suppose it's broken? Oh, I don't think so. It should change any minute now. <laughs> Look at him. Don't I give him money? You shouldn't have left without telling your mother where you were going. She was very worried about you. Now, that's not right. I'm sorry, Ma. But we can go home now if you want. Everybody have to know our business. 